Hey YouTube, I'm Sanj. Welcome back to my channel, Sanj Designs, where I'm building a six car smart garage. Uh, the blocks have arrived and today the guys are going to be showing you how they're going to be doing the damp proof course. So if you want to know some hints, some tips, some tricks of the trade, stay tuned. Okay, so welcome back. So the first thing the guys are doing is actually remarking everything out. Don't assume that all the lines are straight and square. You've got to remark everything out from the beginning and double check. As the saying goes, measure twice, cut once. So that's what the guys are right doing right now. So what the guys have been doing is basically just checking the pillars, how many bricks they need, how many blocks they need, and that's for the corners and for the central sections. So that just make sure that we get everything nice and square, everything nice and tight, and everything lines up properly. Less cutting, and it keeps the strength in the, in the actual structure that we need. So first thing the guys are gonna do is they're gonna create this plinth effect, which is on the house, and that's gonna be mirrored over in the garage. So let's show you how we're doing that. Right, so how do we recreate that effect really simply? Uh, use a 6 inch block on the bottom and a 4 inch block on the top. Recess the back 40 mil. Yeah. And that's how easy it is? Yeah. It's going to look great. Okay, so the guys are just laying the first outer block. And they're going to do that across the whole perimeter. And that's going to give us the frame, almost like the base to start with. So what they put is a black DPC. What Ben's doing is basically laying each of the blocks on the DPC and that stops water penetration up from the slab. And that's part of the damp proof course. Alright, so the guys have laid the outer course. And now what they're doing is laying the inner blocks. And you can see that cavity there, which will be insulated going to go all the way around the entire garage. Guys have done the first course and you can see we've got the external block work, you've got the cavity and you've got the internal block and they've also done marked out the openings where the garage doors are going to go. So as you can see there's three main pillars so what Jason's doing now is he's applying bitumen or blackjack as they like to call it on the internal wall. So Jason, why do we do this and why is it important? It's basically a lot of it is not used these days, but we like to use it because it adds a protection for your wall and just stops any moisture at all getting through that wall. It just seals it tight basically. And you, so you do the whole height of the yeah, wall? Yeah, the inside block work, just yep. the inside, and it just stops that moisture right away up to the top sure. getting into the garden. So it stops moisture, stops damp, yeah. stops any mould potentially and coming on the insulation. Yeah. Excellent, fantastic. There you go, that's how you do it. So as you can see, all the way, and we're going to do all the way up to the roof level. Right, so got the uh, course going up and we have something here called a cavity tray which Gary is laying. Gary, do you want to explain what a cavity tray and why it's important? Hi guys, good to see you all again. Um, yeah, cavity tray is obviously uh, uh, always uh, just a thing we always do, um, prevent any dampness coming inside any of the buildings where it's obviously uh, house garage doesn't make any difference it just gives uh, that a little bit more protection from any damp coming in here so all the moisture that comes down the wall goes through the cavity tray and out through the wall rather than actually seeping back into the building correct yes correct. Yeah. brilliant so that's yeah. going all the way around second course block uh, around the whole structure fantastic so guys that's the outer skin that's your damp proof course gone in. That's how we put bitumen and blackjack, and that's the inner skin. And obviously, you've got all the ties there, everything you need, 
to make it safe and secure and that's how you do a proper job nice and level nice and straight nice and true and a real professional job So again, hope you found that another useful video. Um, that's how we do damp proof course. That's how we do the inner skin. Stay tuned, next video, we'll be building the rest of the outer skin, putting in the insulation and showing how it all comes together in terms of the block work and the superstructure. Stay tuned, thanks for watching. See you next time.